Hi, Virgo. Welcome to Virgo Speaks Tarot. I'm Shawnee. Welcome to your daily message. Virgo, I want to give a quick shout out to all of my returning Virgos, all of my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. I greatly appreciate you guys. Thank you for booking personal readings with me. Speaking of which, I have um, some readings to do. So um, you can definitely add on to the list if you would like a reading. You can reach me at virgospeakstarot at gmail.com. Or if you just have one question, you can send me, um, still send me an email and I'll go ahead and answer that question for you in detail. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for your donations. Thank you for the love. I greatly appreciate you. Hello to my new subscribers. Uh, this channel is growing in a major way. I greatly appreciate all of you that are new. Hello. All right. Welcome to the Speaks family. All right. Now, Virgo, let's see what's going on with you today. Happy Saturday, my beautiful Virgos. We work so hard. I hope you guys are enjoying your Saturday. It's Saturday where I am. I hope you guys are woo, enjoying. Look at this opportunities and yeah so there's that energy that keeps coming out in several different decks going forward transformation oneness this is what we were talking about yesterday okay feeling one with the earth feeling one with uh feeling whole feeling complete and we have of course success on top of blessings and this was the card at the bottom of the deck when I first grabbed it. So there's going to be a lot of success here in your life, Virgo. A lot of love, a blossoming love. For some of you, you're going to be meeting someone. Meeting someone new, Virgo. Now, I don't know how happy you are about that. You guys, if you're interested in Virgo love readings... Go ahead and check out Intuitive Spiritual Messages 333. That's my second channel, and I'm doing only Virgo love readings over there. Um, I just started, so you'll see a couple love readings over there that I've already been doing. But after this reading, I will be doing a Virgo love reading. But guys, I do feel like there's someone new coming um, in this. It's like... When you go down this, here's that yellow brick road. When you go down this path of success that's leading you to the sun. When you go down this path of success, Virgo, I feel like you're going to meet, there's love there waiting for you. There's, it's like your soulmate is on the same journey or on the same path. All right. Now there's a major opportunity that's, that's being created. I'm getting like a magical type of energy here, like a miracle, there is an opportunity that's coming in. I feel like the universe is opening up doors for you, doors of opportunities, um, getting rid of barriers, getting rid of obstacles and challenges that was once in your path, in your way. Um, as you can see now, you have the freedom to go after this success, okay? Nothing is stopping you along this path, okay? So that's what's going on. Whatever you're doing right now, Virgo, is special. Look, it's like spiritually guided. You're being spiritually guided to go in this path. If you're feeling like nothing is changing in your life, let me get this commercial. If you feel like nothing is changing in your life, like there's no new path you're going down, then continue on the path you're on because you're going to start to see, because you're being spiritually led, you're going to start to see something change within yourself. When this happens, this transformation, this is what's going to open up this path. Okay, 
So that's for my Virgos who feel like there hasn't been a big change in your life where you're feeling like you're going down a new path or a spiritually guided path. Stay on the path you're on. When this transformation happens, that's when the path is going to open up for you. Okay, so there's going to be a change within. Um, You know, everyone has their, you know, their time when that transformation happens. You know, like the little... um. What is it? Caterpillar that turns into the butterfly. It takes a a time. Okay. So it's going to happen at the right time when you're ready, Virgo. But there is an opportunity that's coming in. I feel like it's made just for you. Okay. It's like, it's almost like life purpose energy. Um, We also have, I feel like it's a leadership opportunity as well. That's going to put you in a very successful position. All right, Virgo, this is exactly what you're looking for, Um, a position of power, a position of leadership. Um, Look at this. We have nothing but love and blessings here. Look how beautiful this is, Virgo. All right, guys, so that's what's surrounding this opportunity. It's a blessing. It is a blessing from God. All right, Virgo. Um, it's nothing but love. I'm hearing, I always hear that. Um, (laughs) I got nothing but love for you, baby. Okay. I always hear that for Virgo. Um, I feel like this, I feel like, um, Virgo, you're so loved and cherished and here on earth is like meant for you to be in your element of feeling very abundant. Okay. So these blessings are coming in guys. I'm loving this vibe. How is Virgo feeling? How is Virgo feeling? What's on Virgo's mind? What's on Virgo's mind? Okay. You're feeling the love. You're feeling the love, Virgo. I love it. Okay. Compassion. I feel like there's something that you guys want to do, like humanitarian work or working with animals or something like that. I feel like that'll, it's like a wonderful position for you, Virgo, to be um, like a role model or some kind of mentor, um, some kind of leader. Yeah. Yeah. Virgo, Spirit is saying, have faith, trust, and then we have love coming out again. Okay. So Virgo, if you're feeling doubtful, um, unsure, just have faith. Just trust that everything is working in your favor, okay? Like, especially if you're feeling like, I don't see the changes. I don't see anything. Like, you know, spirit is just like, Virgo, just hold on, okay? every It's like cooking up. That's the energy I was picking up when it comes to this blessing, this opportunity. I feel like the magic is happening. Just, you know, you have have to just hold on and, and be patient. Spirit is saying... Just trust that you're loved and that you're going to be spiritually guided in the right direction. It's like (laughs) your spiritual team doesn't want anything less but the sun energy for you, Virgo, which is blessings, happiness, healing, love, security, abundance. Okay, so Virgo, I do see that you are feeling the love. You are going to trust and be patient. That's what this energy is all about. You're going to be patient because I feel like a lot of you are going to get the answers that you're looking for, the clarity that you're seeking. Once you get that breakthrough of truth, of guidance, you're going to have a more softer approach when it comes to waiting for your turn, okay? But I feel like um, there's something like a matter of the heart, something that is on your heart, something that's dear to you. Virgo, let's see what this love is. Here's that travel energy. A lot of you will be traveling very soon. Um, It could be business. um, It could just be for fun, leisure. Um, But I do pick up that for some of you, you will be traveling. Okay, so let's see what's going on with my Virgo. I'm a little curious. What is this love coming out twice? for Virgo. For some of you, um, yeah, Valentine's Day. 
Valentine's Day is coming up. For some of you, love is on your mind. Love is on your heart. I'm going to give these deck a little shuffle here because I want to get a... a I want to get a good message here for Virgo. I want to make sure we didn't, I shuffled it really good. All right. At this time, if this reading is resonating, you're enjoying this reading, go ahead and hit that like button for me, Virgo. Subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. Let's see. When it comes to love, hold on. When it comes to, okay, we got to keep that background going. I just love, look at those. Don't you guys just love those trees? Look at that. Oh, I love it. If that could be like my, my view every day, I would love it. All right, moving on. And then again, there's wolves and everything else out there. So, uh. all right. So anywho, Virgo. What is this love? What's going on when it comes to love? Valentine's Day is coming up. For some of you, um, you're going to be getting some flowers. I'm seeing some sort of gifts, a necklace. Yeah, here it is, guys. Okay, yep. We got the Six of Pentacles. Look at this. Virgo, you're going to feel the love. You're going to feel loved, okay? Um, I feel like um, what's happening is... There's a lot of generosity, a lot of generous energy around you. This is you receiving what you deserve, okay? This is that opportunity. This is that love from the divine. This is um, good karma. So for some of you, there's money that you're going to be receiving, okay? That's the blessing. That's why you're feeling so loved, this is what's coming in. You're going to feel loved, not by the person who gives you the money, but you know exactly what the, where this energy is coming from. It's good karma. It's the good that you put out in the world coming back to you when you need it, when you deserve it, when you least expect it. You're going to feel the abundance of this love, of this generosity from the universe and it's coming to you in the form that you desire. For some of you, it's love in the form of like how you feel when it comes to animals, sharing that love, that love exchange, that give and take that you, you, um, you, the relationship you get from animals, you take good care of them, you feed them, you take them to the doctor, you get their medicine, get their good food, and they love you forever in return. Um, for some of you, it's a new person, love of self, and another large group of you. There's major, like, Big, huge, like I'm picturing like a big boulder that's been in your way. And I feel like there's some, I don't know why I'm hearing like this could be something demonic because I've been picking up the devil card um, when it comes to this Virgo. This is what spirit has for you. So yes, be careful, protect yourself because the, I feel like the devil is going to be putting negative people in your path, negative, you know, temptations and things like that to stop you from reaching this overall ultimate happiness. Okay. So be careful of who's around you. You know, these like, especially like if you have like a few friends, one of them, you don't really care too much for, but the other friends like that person. So you deal with them. Like, stay away from anybody who you're you're not really too, you know, that you know is not good. Okay, Virgo? Stay away from anyone who, men, women, anyone that you feel is undeserving of this generous energy that's coming around you. All right? I feel like it's going to be such 
a big blessing that whoever is in your circle is going to receive as well. Whoever is with you, it's going to enjoy the success and abundance. So be mindful. All right. So this is a cycle that's coming. All right. So, so this is completion and a new cycle beginning. Okay. It's, it's, it's rolling in dough is what I'm hearing. You're going to be rolling in money. Money is coming in. Okay. A major shift is happening. All of this is coming in unexpected, meaning you may just wake up one day and the blessing, the opportunity that is already delivered. Okay. You just need to catch up. It's going to be that kind of energy going forward. Okay, Virgo. So that's what I'm seeing when it comes to this love. I also feel like there's a very generous person. I don't know why I'm hearing Taurus. There's a very generous person that's around you as well. When it comes to love, this could be someone who loves to buy you gifts, love to provide, or this could be someone who is generous with their time, their affection. Mm. Okay, so from my lovely Virgos, expect the unexpected. Expect overall success. And that's what's transforming your life. For some of you, your love life. Ooh, Virgo, this is happening fast. We have the Knight of Swords, Virgo. So again, it may be happening. You may find yourself waiting for these blessings and opportunities. And it's not that you're just, you know, it's not like you're just the queen of impatient. It's like you've been waiting for a long time. You have a family to feed. You have children to take care of. This is the the path. This is what you want to be behind you. The five of pentacles, struggle, feeling alone, isolated, just not feeling worthy of, of, of going inside this beautiful church where they have resources. It's like Virgo, this life you were living where you felt like you didn't have, whether it was proper clothing for the weather, whether it was a vehicle, whether it was enough money to get, you know, where you really feel, you know, like you're taken care of, like, you know, that life you want to leave behind. And I know you're just like, you know what, I'm packed up. I'm ready for these blessings. But spirit is saying, Virgo, it's coming in fast. All right, faster than you could ever imagine. Do you see the 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 wind? You can almost feel the wind. All right, the horse is like, okay, like you know, <laughs> slow down now. But yeah, Virgo, it's coming in fast unexpectedly. What the high priest is here, spirit says you have the answers, Virgo. And the reason why you have the answers is because most of you who are in this position, you know it's coming. With the three of wands, you've done everything. You've manifest, you've planned, you've prepared, you've prayed, you've done it all. Now you're just waiting because you know it's coming. This is confidence. So Virgo, spirit is saying with the high priestess, you have the answers. You have the confirmation it's coming because this is what you've manifested. This is what you prayed for and you're spiritually connected. So you'll know exactly when, okay? You'll feel it. You'll feel it. And when it comes, you'll know what that feeling was all along, building up. All right. So I want to get a message really quick for Virgo. When it comes to, what did I do with that deck? Let me see. For my Virgos, here we are. I want to get an animal spirit oracle. I love the beautiful bird. It's like spirit is letting you know, like birds are messengers. And it's like spirit has a message for you, Virgo, that there's blessings coming in in an abundance in the form. And I never use words that I don't 
see off the energy of the cards or if it's not on the cards or it's not of the energy of the card, you know, so anything I say is what is here. Okay. And this bird is like a messenger. It's like spirit letting you know, Virgo, that these blessings are coming in the form of an abundance. Okay. So this beautiful, beautiful bird caught my attention. I want to get, yeah, and this beautiful jaguar letting you know just how intelligent, how successful you're going to become, Virgo. And I feel like a lot of you are in hermit mode. It's like for some of you, you did this on your own, you and spirit, you and the universe, you and the divine. It's something solo. For some of you, I'm picking up the energy like you did this alone. You conquered these, uh, see how far away those mountains are now? You've already overcome these challenges. That's why we have success here. Like in the reading I did yesterday, it was like, the Queen of Swords energy was like welcoming the challenges now that you can see clearly. <clears throat> Excuse me, now that you're confident. Making wise decisions, you're ready to take on these challenges. But with the success card here showing up, it's letting me know that those challenges are long gone. They're far away. You're going to overcome them. You're going to be just totally embracing this new life that is very abundant, very abundant. I'm loving it. Animal Spirit Oracle. What is the message for Virgo today? Let's get a card on the table, please. For my lovely Virgos. What is the energy for Virgo today? What is the animal spirit message? Woo! So... We have three, three. <laughs> Let me see. Hold on, Virgo. What flew on the floor? Oh my God. <laughs> Look at this. I was just talking about the mountains and here it is. So it says, Virgo, personal choice. Close your eyes. What animal do you imagine? Meaning like what animal is close to you? What man, what animal do you, what are you going to first think of when you close your eyes right now? What animal comes to your mind? What strengths are they known for? What wisdom do they share? Embrace these qualities. All right, Virgo. So tap in to the animal that you are connecting with right now? What are their strengths? What are their wisdom? What are they known for? What are they, you know, all of that and tap in. All right. Beautiful. We have again, tiger fire. I choose to be unstoppable. My passion is my power. I am bold. I am brave. Mighty forces come to my aid. There you are, Virgo. Very beautiful tiger energy. And the last card is peacock, vibrancy. You were born to shine and inspire. Practice humility to avoid jealousy. Be grateful for life and more good things will come. Be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance. Very beautiful, Virgo. You're always going to shine. All right. And, you know, Virgo, just know that can't anyone dim your light. All right, Virgo, you will shine. But be very humble at the same time. All right. Because, you know, we know we're the best. But at the same time, we do have to you know, of course, acknowledge the other signs. <laughs> All right, Virgo, but, uh, and I'm just being silly, but um, I still mean what I said about us Virgos, though. <laughs> 
All right, Virgo. So this is the reading. I'm so excited. Um, Virgo, it's so much love and success. I want to get one reading, um, one message here because we did get love. So let's see what's going on with my Virgo. When it comes to love, what is this energy when it comes to love for my Virgos? When it comes to love, what is the energy here that spirit wants Virgo to know when it comes to love? Show me clearly, Holy Spirit, when it comes to Virgo. Who loves Virgo? What is their message? All right. I'm, ooh, jealousy came out again. You're so special. You're truly divine. I've never felt energy like yours before, and I can't get enough. Oh, my goodness. Virgo, someone thinks you're very special. They love your energy. They've never experienced anything like it. Wow. I feel like someone's totally in awe of you. Someone is in love with you for sure, Virgo. We have jealousy. I'm very jealous. I can barely stand it. Oh my gosh. So Virgo, I don't know if this is your energy or if someone is feeling this way about you, but someone is very possessive over you. They don't want anyone else to enjoy you but them. So there is definitely someone here around you and your energy that sees your vibrancy. They see your shine. They see you for the beauty that you really are. Okay. You're attracting a lot of attention at this time, Virgo. So just be careful of the energy of jealousy. Okay. But that's what I'm picking up when it comes to love. All right, Virgo. Um, this is your reading. If you guys want a more, um, in depth reading for love, I will be doing a reading right now on my second channel, Intuitive Spiritual Messages 333. And you guys, of course, can check out my third channel, Earthly Goddess Tarot, where I do collective love messages. All right, guys, this is your reading. Happy Saturday, Virgo. I will be back later on to tap in. But until then, guys, continue to let your light shine and know that you are special. Bye, Virgo.